Diego, thank you for your time. So, as far as longer-term themes go, how would you say uh, the state investors and sovereign wealth funds of the world are positioning in the next uh, five to ten years? Good morning, Sri, and thank you for Good having morning. me. I would say that it really depends. Uh, some uh, sovereign wealth funds, uh, around 50% of the industry actually comes from oil. So those that are sourced from oil and gas are having a quicker recovery uh, because of the inflow that they are receiving. However, they have the deployment risk and, and you know, choosing the right assets to deploy that capital and to put that money to work into. Uh, the other sovereign wealth funds like Temasek or GIC that come from uh, foreign reserves are probably going to have a steeper uh, recovery as well as the public pension funds where uh, some of the pensioners may have withdrawn uh, significantly during uh, COVID-19. And the state's investors, <clears throat> excuse me, are, uh, and the sovereign wealth funds are increasingly large investors in tech. But I've got to say, with uh, Tomasek's experience with FTX, uh, it, it does present uh, significant risks in terms of the due diligence. A lot of questions there uh, yesterday uh, towards uh, Tomasek. Less from a fraud point of view, but how cautiously do you think uh, the sovereign wealth funds are going to tread in terms of uh, AI being the next big thing? Yeah, I think the case has been uh, quite visible and quite, um, you know, dominant in newspapers. However, I must say that in venture capital, it's pretty normal to fail um, nine out of ten investments, right? Uh, it's just the magnitude of this investment was uh, quite large. Um, I would say that venture capital peaked in 2021, we saw a huge volume and value of uh, sovereign investors going into the space in 2021. However, after the 2022 crash, uh, we've seen more caution. Uh, so a lot of renewable interest in infrastructure, uh, private credit and hedge funds as an under, uh, uncorrelated and diversified strategy. But venture capital is sort of at the back right now. Uh, I would say investors like Temasek and GSC will keep investing in startups and in venture capital funds, um, but as you said, uh, they will be more more cautious, uh, more caution uh, going forward.